Welcome back to Dumb Blonde. On today's episode, your most esteemed and most wanted guest turns podcast host, Bailey Ann. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I, like it. I don't think you're going to so, be taking over my podcast. Oh, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so today's guests are two very important people to me. The original podcast host, but most importantly, my mama, hmm. Bana. Banana. Bun. Banana. <laughs> Banana. 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 <laughs> I'm going to start calling you Banana. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, as well as the one who started it all, my dad, Jelly Roll. Yeah, I like that. Saw, dude. <laughs> Sup. <laughs> so I'm so excited to be doing this, and I'm so grateful that you all came here to watch me flip the script. Yes. Yeah, baby. So you ready? Yes, my I am. My little script Let's do it. flipper. I'm scared. Well, you should be. I'm f- fucking fired up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go. All right. So I really wanted to know, Dad, what got you into music? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. And what, and Bunny, what got you into podcasting? I'll let your daddy answer first. No, you first. No, please. Daddy, paper, you paper, go rock, first. Scissors. Daddy, you I'm going to punch you in your face. Dad. It's <laughs> only fair if we do paper, rock, scissors. You're going, <laughs> I asked the first. <laughs> <laughs> All family disputes best, will be settled. Best One, out two, of three. three. Oh, <laughs> best out of three. Oh, okay. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, shit. Ooh, it's tiebreaker. One, two, three. Oh, shit. I should have known you were going to rock twice. Strategy. <laughs> <laughs> she tricked me. Go. It's all Jedi mind tricks over here. May the fourth be with you. Oh, fucking A. Do not start that. Oh, mind tricks, you say? Oh, God. All day yesterday, <laughs> that's how he talked to us. Uh, music. So I've always yeah. done music. It's always been like like my thing, kind of. Like when I was, like you. Like you, I was doing melodies when I was young, and then I started writing poetry, and realized that in rhythmic pattern it could be hip-hop embrace the hip-hop culture but when i started taking music real serious was whenever you were born and i was like all right i gotta quit going to jail i've got to figure something out to make sure this little girl is took care of and i don't lose my freedom and risk it anymore so that's whenever i was like all right gotta gotta really make this thing work and i've been pretty pretty adamant at it yeah you have you You crushed it yeah what about you mama what got you into podcasting i always wanted to be a radio dj when i was younger (laughs) yeah so this was my opportunity (laughs) i loved howard stern i loved imus i loved bob larson growing up and stuff like that so i just when podcasting started becoming popular i was like dude i could totally crush this and here we are. We sat at the dining room table and thought of a name. I thought of a name one night in bed, bounced him off daddy. Daddy was like, that one's cool, and went from there. Yeah, you know, the funny part is, is it, when is it, it turns a year old, like? This, uh, maybe like uh, May 22nd, I believe, yeah. or May 23rd was when Right we, around Bailey's birthday. Yeah, right around yeah. Bailey's birthday. Yeah. So depending on Birthday's when this comes out, out we're celebrating a big birthday yeah, for Yeah, this might be the year podcast. special, yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> so next question is, what would you be doing if not what you do now? Ooh. You. That's you. you. No, you're, you're a man. Answer. He answered first. It's your turn. <laughs> I feel like I should always follow the man's lead, you know? Go. I think, I think the host made her decision. <laughs> <laughs> what would I be doing now? Yeah, if you didn't, if you weren't doing podcasting, and do what I would have, you be doing? Do I have to answer that honestly? You, can yes. <laughs> you are allowed to plead the fifth. <laughs> um, I don't know. If I, if, so if I didn't get into podcasting, what would I be doing? Like, if you, if you what you're doing now, if mm. you not did that, any of that at all, what would you be doing? I don't know. I would always be into something, though. I'm not the type of person that can sit around and just not do anything. So um, I always have, like, the creative outlets and juices going. So I would have found something to get myself into. Like what? I don't know. I'm (laughs) fucking jack of all trades, master (laughs) of none. But I'd have figured it out. (laughs) All right. Daddy, how about you? When I came home from being incarcerated and you were born, I went to college. You know this? Yeah. Okay. A little bit. So I went to school. And what I actually went to school for was sociology. Hold on a second. I didn't know the question was if what we were doing in our life. I thought it was what we were doing right now. Like, like if like we, what would you be doing if you if didn't I do any if I like this? never met your dad and never got into it? Like, is that what we're talking about hypothetically? That's like well, a, a loaded question. No, I think we we're talking about career wise. Like, right? if, oh, like if your career wise, career-wise, and I yeah. just I just used the college experience to go to to segue into gotcha. that's if what daddy, I would have done. What my degree was going to be. What in. he did in college. Yeah. What he went to school for. Gotcha. If I wasn't doing music, I'd have did what I went to college for. And Which I'd was? Sociology. Social services. I wanted to uh, get into like the philanthropy of helping at-risk youth. Can I just point out something? Dad, did you know that you your little red dot under your eye looks like a heart? Well, thank you. Look at him. Thank you. <laughs> Do you see it? Mm. You see my little heart? Mm. Look at my little heart. So what's the biggest struggle of raising me and the best or coolest part of raising me? Oh, 
loaded question. You're going first, Dad. That's a gun. Biggest struggle of raising you? Getting you to listen. <laughs> big buddy agrees with that one. Mm-hmm. Big, big hard head. Coolest part of raising you is watching you become a young lady, watching your own personality develop, and you kind of find your way in the world. So that's yeah. that's probably for sure my favorite I, I part. I 100% agree you with agree? your dad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what is your biggest accomplishment as a couple? Ooh, oh, as a couple. Got so Without many. a kid, oh, yeah. your biggest. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're good at. We're yeah. good at accomplishing your shit and building as a couple. Yeah. Building empires together. We, we, I think our biggest quality is setting goals and getting them done. Yeah. Bunny is goal oriented like I am. And I've never met a woman who was like that, like me. So yeah. it's like saying, this is what we like. In fact, the only time we find each, find weird moments in our relationship is when we don't have a goal. Mm-hmm. When it's like, okay. So like, then we have to set a goal. So yeah. Or goal no, but like setters. your biggest accomplishment, like. What have y'all done as a couple that you think is like the biggest Shit, thing you've raising done you, raising you, yeah, starting sure. Dumb Blonde Productions, yeah, getting your daddy's far, studio, yeah, how all far the you came from mm-hmm. just when we got you, everything that you've learned since then, getting you. Your grades were always good, but they're better than they've ever been. I think we're both very proud of that. Mm-hmm. Your attendance is better than it's ever been. We had to break a lot yeah. of bad habits that you had whenever you yeah. first came yeah. to the house, you know. Yeah, the, the production company, the music side, built multiple offices at this point. Mm. Yeah. We own stuff. Yeah. We were talking about that on the back take porch care earlier. Donna. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We would, you know, like we actually, neither <laughs> yeah. one of us actually really owned anything when we got together. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. We actually, you know, cool. own. We just keep progressing. Yeah. So. so now we get to get some of the fun questions. So um, this is directed at Dad, and then I'm sure Bunny's going to go into a rant after I finish this. <laughs> so, Dad, I hear that you have some games on your phone. Um. <laughs> Would you like to tell us about the games? Like, what kind of games do you play? <laughs> hey, he's taking up a new hobby. Why don't you tell people yeah, what it is, Daddy? So hobby, during Daddy. the quarantine, <laughs> I started playing Tetris no. on my phone. No. no hold, on, hold on. I'm Let getting him there. get into Let it. You know your Daddy it. has a big production. Yeah, yeah. I want to segue so people don't think I just got into this lame <laughs> game suddenly. I ran out of other games. I did Tetris. I did Pac-Man. And then it, Tetris kept showing me these commercials for this game called Gardenscapes. And I got into it. And I spent four hundred and fifty dollars building my gardens. No, how I've much? Got how seven much, gardens. How much have you spent to date? You started off with four hundred. No, no, no. That's what I've spent to date. Oh, I thought you said you spent like a thousand almost. No, never. Okay. No, close. no it's a. It's. I think he said it's eleven hundred to finish the game. Right. That's what you said. I said if I finish the game and build all my gardens, I said I project it's going to cost me a thousand dollars. I don't know how many there are. I think there's. You said there was thirteen. I think. Yeah, I think so. I got like seven, so I'm crushing it. Yeah, yeah. I really made it do good for my budget, man. I'll tell you that much. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay. Next question is, what was your first car, the price of your first car, and how did you pay for it? Ooh. You can go first, Ma. Mine was a, God, we called it the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> <laughs> it was $300, and we call it was a Chevy. Oh, my God. I can't think of the name. It was so old, but it was like a hatchback, and like the alternator was going out in it, and it was just, cr- the windshield wipers would start going by itself, but I paid for it because I worked. I was like a, an office manager for like a pest control company or something. <laughs> I did not know that. That was my first check. I got my car. Mm -hmm. Dad, how about you? Mine was a Cutlass. How'd you pay for it? How much was it? Uh, I don't remember what I paid for it, to be honest, but I was selling drugs. Fun. I was like 15. I had to park the car down the street because my family didn't know I had it. (laughs) And then I got to the point that I had three cars, and I was 16, and I had them parked everywhere. (laughs) Sounds like you. So I'd hop in the one closest to the neighborhood and then drive to the other one and then get in the cool car. (laughs) That was the thing. So random. Big production. So, <laughs> who are your top three most wanted guests on the podcast? Ooh. I feel like this one's top mostly directed three at mom, most but like wanted for guests. Um, Joyce Meyer. Oh, yeah. I definitely would love to have Joyce Meyer come on because that woman is just so full of come wisdom. Along. I'd love to see her answers to your perspective of questions. Yeah, that would be so It'd be cool. some shit she never got hit with for sure. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. For those of you who don't know, Joyce, Joyce Meyer is like one of the what top evangelist women in yeah. the world or something yeah, like that. Just big pastor. Evangelical. Pro- probably the biggest woman pastor ever. But she's like such a boss and she has yeah. like an attitude problem and I love it. <laughs> and the circle of life is my mother was a huge Joyce Meyer fan. <laughs> So, oh, cool. Donna. I hear Joyce blaring through Bunny's phone. It reminds me of walking upstairs to Mama's <laughs> room when I was like 12. Joyce is awesome. Um, who else? Probably, mm, I don't know. I don't really, like anybody we've ever wanted, we've gotten on the podcast. So that's a good question. But somebody that I, I think is unattainable to get on the podcast would be Joyce probably. Really? But I'll set my sights in her, on her. 
and <laughs> get her on here. I was not three. Well, I can't think of anybody else that I would really want okay. that I couldn't get on here. <laughs> sure. All right. Next question is, if you could have lunch with any celebrity, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Daddy? That's a good one. Mm, celebrity. You first. God, I don't know why I'm not more prepared for this question. I know, me either. I'm right? Like, my mind's going like, with a little Yeah, just, I just hit so many people. I was like, man, that's a. It's hard to narrow it down to one because there's like, like I would want Marilyn Monroe. Right. For one, because I'd be trying to get all the tea on the Kennedy family. And find like, out what's real and what's yeah. not. Like, and, does and the I'd, video exist? And I'd make her show her boobs <laughs> or something, you know. Um, who else? Uh, you would want, what's his name? Croce. Jim, Jim Croce. Croce. Yeah, I'd love to talk to him. Love to have lunch with him. Or Seeger. I'd love yeah. to sit down with Bob and just hear, you know. Yeah. Anybody from alive, that, though. like, them old, that old era of, yeah. like, I'd like to, you know, I don't know. Uh, I would want Anna Nicole. Garcia. I'd love to talk to Jerry Garcia. Yeah, that'd be cool. I I'd would love, want John I'd F. Love Kennedy to figure out how so I could find out what's real. Because yeah. I'm not taking no excuse from Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> mm. So... Who do I act most like out of Mama, Daddy, and Bug, and how? Oh, Mama, for sure. No, you are all your dad. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Even watching her flip her hair right now. Uh, okay, so her funny. girly mannerisms, yeah, for sure, she gets from me, but everything else, she is just dad through and through. 100% hard-headed. Fucking just wanted to say, I told Mimi that this is exactly what happened. I'll be like, no, but it's the other one. It's obviously the other one. <laughs> Something you always wanted to do, but never did. Well, I still want to do it. And me and your daddy have been talking about it. I want to go to school for, to be a psychologist or a psychiatrist. And me and your daddy are thinking about but going But you wanted back. to do real estate. I mean, I'll do that too. I'll do it all. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> life, does, life can't limit you, man. You can do it all. What about you, daddy? What was the question again? Something you always wanted to do, but never did it. Oh, dude, I got a list of things I want to do when I get skinny. It's my fat man can list. And on the top of it is I want to skydive. I, I bungee jumped yourself. once, I but I want to do it again. I want to wrestle an alligator. Nope. I want to ski. Like fucking Elton John. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In one of those fucking razzle-dazzle suits. Yeah, 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 fucking pew, pew. I can just okay. see it. I think the question that's my favorite question is, do you think Carol Baskin killed her husband? Oh, dude. Carol yeah. Baskin <laughs> killed her husband, whacked him. Did I get copyright? Yeah, I for sure think you she do. did. I do, too. I, I do. Agree. She fed him to the tigers. She's, yeah, him. she's just too weird. And she married a lawyer. Like that, if that doesn't scream guilty conscience, guilty, I don't know what guilty, does. Guilty. She she needs that protection, you know? The way she acted about it. And just smiled yeah, every like, time. You were like actively funny. married to somebody and they died. I don't care if it's 10 years later and somebody's talking to you about it. You're like, I'm glad to finally clear the record. <laughs> Yeah. Like, it's not funny, bitch. We were talking about your dead <laughs> husband, dude. You so know what I'm saying? Dumb. Like, what is wrong yeah. with you? Like, you th like she's so dumb to think that they would not bring that up. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I have a fun game that I want to play. Ooh, mm -hmm. we love games. Mm -hmm. It's the newlywed game. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> you shit. So better get these fucking right, buddy. During this game, I will ask you a series of questions in which you will answer by pointing to yourself or the other person. Are you ready? Because I'm not. Do we have to have our eyes open or closed? You can keep them open or you can close them. It's up to you. I'll keep them open. Okay. So I can make sure he doesn't lie. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. I'm not, by the way. All right, let's get started. So who's the better kisser? Her. Me. <laughs> who's the tidiest? Her. Mama bear. Who's the best cook? Her. Ma, dad's, daddy's really good at breakfast. I got, I got a mean grill game. Yeah. So does she. I know, so both of us. Because daddy She's can the more out. consistent cook, though. She can do, like, shit I can't. So who what is, I do, I'm great at, though. <laughs> who is the most likely to deal with a spider? Oh, me. Yeah, I can't. There's no way. <laughs> who has the worst handwriting? Me. I don't know. I think your daddy's handwriting is better than mine. I thought your handwriting was really pretty, too, though. I like, no, but your handwriting is pretty. No, I think daddy's yeah. is. Mine's like right. chicken scratch. No, I've seen you sign That's bunny before. It's That's sexy. Pretty. It's <laughs> big and bubbly. Who is the better driver? Me. Oh, your dude, dad me sucks. For sure. Oh, please. <laughs> listen, listen, hold on, hold on. Let me explain this to you. She's the better driver. I'm the better operator. I'm actually going to gonna get us around here. Yes, you know of course. Saying? No, yeah. you're yeah, not. Let's this get has your nothing input. to do with you. This is the yes, newlywed game. I am the better driver. She's I'm the, the tiebreaker. I am the most qualified <laughs> driver in the I house. I am the host. I can kick you off. I'm the guy you want to give the keys to if we got to get out of here. <laughs> Who has the most exes? 
Oh, bunny. Oh, please. I am in long-term <laughs> relationships. Your daddy's the old spreading the seed everywhere. He's a gardener <laughs> oh, by trade over what? here. <laughs> this is crazy. That's your daddy for sure. <laughs> Who spends the most money on personal items? Your dad. On personal Daddy, items? Daddy, from spices to black t-shirts to fucking so garden DH, games. Garden games. Like, I'm, I'm consistent. I shop at Fashion Nova every two weeks. That's it. Other than that, I don't well, buy anything hold else on. I want I want to clarify what personal items are. <laughs> anything personal. Daddy, every time like you go to the store. Like extremely personal or like multi-use <laughs> stuff? Because let me explain something to y'all. We get so many Amazon boxes to our house. When Bunny <laughs> opens them, she don't know what they are. It's like Christmas. <laughs> She literally is like, I, you know how many times I hear this a week? Ooh, I forgot I got that. <laughs> it's, literally. it's never for me. But it's, it's for either the for the house or if the only time they are for me is if I'm doing a specific photo shoot. Other yeah. than that. Bunny. Daddy. But something else is, she Daddy gets, rolls. Look, bunny. You, you cannot blame her for all the Amazon packages because half of them are for the household and you cannot blame him for spices because we all use those. I get like one who? Amazon package. You? Yes. You're the who you? I, don't, I don't use one of them. I, I use garlic was, salt listen, and pepper. I thought that That's was it. really good mediating there. Okay. I thought that she was very She is enabling fair. you. I thought that was I right, right down difference. the middle. I took them for first. I don't use any of those flavor gods. Not one. I've seen you use the everything seasoning Not before. Not since last year. I gave up on it. You're just being a hater right now. <laughs> That's what you're doing. You're just Literally, the, the biggest thing that happens in our household is every day, you're a hater. I get an Amazon <laughs> package a, a month, okay. and Mama opens it because she's so used to them being for her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't even get the joy because of opening my own box. Because you're not going to be there for the <laughs> It was an accident. It. I didn't know. I did it to Kayla the other day, too, twice. Yeah, I remember. You was like, oh, I that's was for like, Kayla. Because I was like, dude, I didn't order anything. What is this? And you're like, I don't know. And we opened it, and I was like, oh, not mine. Who does the most work around the household? Oh, her. Me. For sure. Who takes longer to get dressed and ready? Oh, Mama Bear. No, I don't know about that anymore. Whoa. It depends on the time. <laughs> so I'm, I'm make this listen, stop. This when we first got together. Hey, I'm finna get up and walk. You don't have to kick me off. I'm finna <laughs> leave. <laughs> <laughs> when we first got together, it used to take me two hours to get ready. I and can get you, ready in a half hour now. I know for sure. And I can put on a t shirt and boxers in three minutes. And flat. sit on your phone without boxers and t shirts on for fucking an hour. What no, are you no, talking no. about? What I'll do is I'll sit on my phone in boxers for 20 27 minutes because I know it's going to take you 30 <laughs> minutes to get ready. All so right, then I'll, I'll stand it. up and like, all right, time to get dressed. I'll take it. Okay. Who was the dominating partner? Oh, mama. Woof. Yeah. <laughs> Alpha dog over here. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Who apologizes first after a fight? Oh, it's always me. Never. She's apologized maybe three times. He, ever. I'm going to punch him in his face. <laughs> Never. And we've actually gotten really good at that. We we don't argue to where we have to say sorry anymore. Now we just kind of like, this is what's going on. This is how I receive it. Thank you for talking to me, you know, type yeah. of situation. We don't. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Yeah, we don't go into arguments to where we have to really apologize. Yeah. But definitely if we had a scale of counting apologies, <laughs> it's not fair. I can't help it that I'm angelic as fuck. <laughs> oh, oh this has been the, y'all watching this bullshit out there, man? Are y'all seeing this? <laughs> Does it come off as bullshitty as it feels? <laughs> oh so who's more romantic? Like who's the more hopeless, romantic, brave heart? Oh, dude, I am the romance. <laughs> He's such a liar. <laughs> dude, I'm Listen, telling, he is such a, there, you, you don't have about? a romantic bone in your body. I your idea of romantic. romantic person it, ever. No, absolutely not. Mean? You I don't like, do anything romantic. Mom always complains about I'm how Prince dad never Charming. takes her out. And then we're like, okay, we'll cook a dinner for you. And I'll, we'll set it up like a date night. She's like, no, let's make it for Bug. No, we're like, because we're doing it here. I want to go out. I want to be an adult. Listen, let me be honest. Nobody's going out for probably another <laughs> six months, okay? <laughs> just, we got to work with what we got here, okay? You know what I'm saying? There is no going out. But we have four people that, in the house right now, and I'm having a panic attack. Your daddy does not have romance in his body but I am Prince fucking but charming. when he does do something sweet he really goes all out and it's monumental very romantic i see that you aren't wearing your ring i'm on quarantine and i and i got man hands right now diamonds and man hands don't go together <laughs> diamonds go with anything good observation bailey <laughs> who is the, i think this one's going to be a little bit of an, i guess war who is the funniest oh, oh your dad dude for really? sure i me. don't play 
Your daddy listen, does. No, no. <laughs> listen, all jokes aside, Bunny is funnier than me by complete accident. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Bunny lives in her own little world, dude. Your She'll sit on the couch so funny, and but, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, it's just a, <laughs> Your jokes are funny? funny Bunny. Bunny. <laughs> but Bunny will say something brand in the wall. She'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> Bug says she always has to brace herself because she never knows what's going to come oh, out yeah. of her mouth. I know. It's like. <laughs> She's real your dad's spazzy. more your dad's more bubbly and like jokester and I'm more like serious in my delivery I guess you could say because yeah. I am being serious yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dad, she's so but like so like I'm being serious but it's hilarious yeah who is the most patient your dad for sure I have zero patience yes I got the patience of an elementary school teacher yeah it's something special yeah, true <laughs> <laughs> She's not being sarcastic who, at all. Who said I love you first? Your oh dad. me for sure. Mm-hmm. She refused. She bucked the she your bucked dad, the Bronx for like oh, a I month. Fi- I figured she would have. Your dad I don't got, think she told me she loved me until we got married. Your dad got <laughs> mad at me <laughs> because I wouldn't tell him I loved him back. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> yeah. Like yeah. wanted to have an argument over it. I would have been mad like, too. All right, fine, dude. I love you. Okay. <laughs> this is what we're doing. <laughs> so who's Aren't you the, glad that worked out? Yeah. So who's the bigger glad. baby when sick? Oh, your father. Oh, dude. Yeah, no, I'm a sucker. Mm. We know. Yeah, we I'm can't d- get I her to, to be a baby. She won't sit be, down. I she stays sick. Up. I stay sick for a few days normally, except for that last time. And I get back to normal because I will be a big baby. She will run for weeks. Just with <laughs> pneumonia, <laughs> full blown pneumonia. pneumonia. <laughs> She's like, I'm not sitting down no more. I'm going out. <laughs> like, Shit. Okay. If when you, when you're that sick, you want to move around though. You know, like you don't want to just give in and fucking pout about it. It's only fun. Who is more stubborn? Mm. Mm. I think we're both pretty stubborn. Yeah, I'll. I'll, I'll um, I'm meaner. Yeah, He's more stubborn. Meaner. I think. Not stubborn. Once he, once you, your mind is made up about something, you're very stubborn. Whereas, m- m- even when my mind's made up about something, I'll eventually just be like, whatever. <laughs> Not your daddy, man. You'll he eventually wants- be like, whatever, fine. Yeah. Let's get it over with. Mm-hmm. So, who's the social butterfly? Your oh. father. This is best friend Bob right here. He'll fucking go talk to every neighbor in the fucking street, eat the meet the donut guy, yeah. fucking just <laughs> hang out with whoever. Your daddy gets in where he fits in. He's like, people, I must meet. Yes. So we're, uh, the world is full of friends I haven't met yet. Mm-hmm. And I'm the complete opposite. Don't exactly. talk to me. <laughs> Don't look at me. Me and Buddy will be in like the store or something. And she'll be like, she'll see somebody. And she'll be like, no. <laughs> Let's go the other way. <laughs> so last but not least, who would win a game of Monopoly? Your dad, he has way more patience, and I'm not even starting the game. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, I'm not even playing the game. <laughs> I'll so sit mean. here for moral support and hang out, but I'm not playing the game. I'm hanging. You've done such a great job at this. I want to ask you a question. No. What <laughs> would you call <laughs> no. the Bailey podcast? Baileyverse. Baileyverse? I like that. I like, it too. <laughs> I like that you thought about it. <laughs> that was yeah. quick. The Baileyverse, came up with that. the Baileyverse podcast. Uh, yeah. Now, who are your three wish list? But, um, my top three, if like I had a podcast, I don't know. I want Jeffrey Star. All don't right. Test me. We're going to get Jeffrey for sure. We have to. Mm-hmm. I cry. I swear to God, I'd cry. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's hard too. Nice. Yeah. So hard yeah. Hard yeah. To answer. She's on the other foot. Okay, um, Jeffrey Star, um, I'm like a big person of like the beauty community. So I think that's probably where most of them, I guess, would come from. Jeffrey Star, and then like, I don't know. It's <laughs> hard. Like, I can't come up with another one. There's so many that would just be like cool to have on, but like, yeah, I can't come up with it. I like it though. The Bailey Verse podcast. I'm in. I dig it. Under Dumb Blonde Productions. Yep. Yes. By myself. I like it. I like it. So thank you guys for coming on to my podcast because it's not yours anymore. I've taken it. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Yes. Now get off my podcast. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys for watching, listening, all that jazz, all of the above, mm-hmm. and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Yeah.